Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bri, back in the building with another banger. Yo, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. Don't be a stranger. Today, we're here with some Jonathan Isaac gameplay. I have the power force, a uh, small forward at 6'11". The man really can do it all. He's a Galaxy Opal. He says he's better defensively than he is offensively, but on both sides of the ball, I can tell you he is a problem. Let's look at his stats. Driving layups, really good. Post is pretty decent, not gonna lie. Shooting-wise, he's pretty, really, really good. His jump shot is what makes him. I'm not gonna lie, his jump shot is really smooth, but you can see he got a 90, three point, and 88 mid range. Driving dunks in 95, standing dunks in 85. I boosted his ball handle. The defense is really, really good. For 6'11 with these defensive stats, he's nothing to play with. Rebounding wise, he's really solid. Athletically, really fast, even with the ball in his hands. There's really nothing wrong with the card. Let's look at his tendencies. Offensively, he will be able to dunk it with the best of them. And then defensively, let's look at his tendencies. Will he be able to block people with that Hall of Famer protector that he has? 99 block shot, 99 shot contest. He will be a problem defensively, to say the least. Badge-wise, catch and shoot, corner specialist, fearless pit pocket, rim protector, Hall of Fame, at a small, on a small forward, so clutch, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, posterizer, rebound chaser, pogo stick, post lockdown, tireless defender, downhill, quick first step, sniper, ankle braces, limitless takeoff, fast twitch, menace, ball stripper. Those are all his Hall of Fames, and he's got 37 gold badges. Let's see what he's working with. Brick wall is really nice if you want to put him at the power forward so he can set screens for you. Chase down with the Hall of Fame rim's gonna go crazy. I think I put that quick chain on him, I'm not sure though. Blinders. Limitless spot up, slithery, needle threader, dead eye, unpluckable. The card comes really, really solid. I think I put that hyper drive on him too. But let's get in to some freestyle gameplay and see what Jonathan Isaac can do for us there. All right, so we're here with my man Jonathan Isaac in freestyle. I mean, as you can see, the player build looks huge for a small forward, 6'11. He's going to be a big body and he doesn't even move bad. I think he has shifty dribble style. First shot is a green. It's always a great sign. Uh, hot zone wise, he's got him everywhere except for the right wing on the three point line. That's pretty good. I mean, with a shot like this though, let's see. I don't even think you need to worry about that right wing being not a hot spot because his shot's so smooth. Even though I didn't green it, it's still gonna drop. I think he does have Hall of Fame sniper too, I wanna say. Yeah, that shot is just so money. But um, shooting wise, you can see he's really nice, hot zones. Let's see what his leaner looks like. Okay, that's not his leaner, that's his off the dribble. I laid it that one. But I want to see his leaner. Not too bad. Looks pretty smooth. That was to the right. Let's go to the left one time. Yeah, pretty smooth. Pretty easy to time. Let's go. Let's see his dribble six full court. Behind the back's kind of slow. But yeah, twins kind of slow. This crossover is pretty nice, though. I'm not going to lie. And this uh, drag back is pretty nice, too. Yeah, his crossover is really nice. Half court wise, he's got shifty dribble style, looks like. Yeah, he can move pretty, pretty nice for a 6'11 small forward. Yeah, as far as player build, dribbling, and shooting wise goes, Jonathan Isaac's that guy. Let's get in a triple threat and see what he can do for us. Okay, also for this gameplay, we're going to give the, the face cam a little break because it was actually overheating my computer. I'm getting a new computer here real soon, but we're going to be using Zach Levine, Scottie Pippen, and Jonathan Isaac in this gameplay to showcase Jonathan Isaac because I think. At the three and triple threat online, he's gonna be, he's gonna hold his own down in the paint, but he's also gonna be unguardable in the offensive end. So let's see if I, that theory is correct. Got DeMar DeRozan on me. Jonathan Isaac has a clear size advantage. I'm gonna take it to the rack. I could have shot that, but haven't shot today all day. I wanna get a lead, start off the game. Let's play some defense. Jonathan Isaac on the defensive end is gonna be elite. Let's see, let's see. He could have shot that. Good shot that one too. Jonathan. Ooh, good shot, one boy. 29%. Gotta give it to him. I know this DeMar cannot hold Jonathan. He's not nearly big enough. I'm gonna let him jump for me. Jonathan Isaac's got that standing dunk. Going up strong. See, I'm gonna have to stop this guy from three hunting. It looks like he's gonna be a pretty good three hunter. Trying to sit on his off ball. Or 
sending his off hand, not his off ball. So I say, Jonathan Isaac's gonna give me the stomp. Speak it, manifest it, and he gives me the board. What you doing for me on the offensive end, Jonathan? Not getting plucked. That's a great sign. Is Jonathan Isaac getting him out of there? Yes, he is. On to the next one. All right, guys, we're loading into our next Jonathan Isaac gameplay against my man JMO03. He's got D Rose, Dwayne Wade, and Carmelo Anthony. I'm actually looking forward to doing a gameplay on that D Rose card. I know he's about to be a dribble demon, and his jump shot's really, really quick from what I've seen. But let's focus on Jay Isaac for this gameplay. Uh, I got Carmelo on me. He cannot guard me. I'm to the rack with it. Just kidding. See, I could shoot these. I don't know why I'm not. I should showcase Jonathan's jumper a little bit. Fuck it, let's do it. All right. Yeah, I had like three different shots at that time. Didn't shoot any of them. I'm out here looking like a troll. Scotty's gonna make up for me on the defensive end though. Find Jonathan. Good shot, Jonathan. Like I said, the shot is pretty, pretty smooth. Cannot lie. Hmm, Scotty didn't get that chase down. I'm surprised. But Jonathan's gonna carry me. Come on. I'm not even doing nothing impressive, but his on-ball defense is just pretty trash. Jonathan Isaac is fast enough to fry it, though. As you can tell. Ooh, good shot. What's up with people hitting yellow contests? Like, high yellow contests. Last game, Buddy hit a 29. This guy hit a 39. Like, everybody's just locked in tonight? Is that what you're telling me? You see Jonathan Isaac making the play there. He wants to sit off ball and help. I'll punish him. You shot that? Find Jonathan. Well, anyway, he's not blocking him. Good take, John. As far as it's not my board. But D Wade is a horse for a guard. I don't know why they give him like rebound chaser and pretty decent rebound stats. Release it a little bit early and it's off. I felt that one though. That's the thing I like about a release though. It, it is ooh, that wasn't even me. That was just his AI doing that. But um, it's a release that you could definitely tell when you release it early or release it late. You'll you'll know. You'll be like ah, I messed that one up. Carmelo just can't hold Jonathan Isaac down low. And I'm telling you, if you want Jonathan Isaac specifically for triple threat, if you're one of those people who only play triple threat, Jonathan Isaac is going to be a really good card for you to run at that, that three spot. Because he can do it all, offensively and defensively. And he's not too expensive. I'm going to call a back, duck, uh, a back cut on him right here. I guess he wants to sit off ball. I'll punish him for it. What is a back duck? I don't know what I just said. Excuse me, all. it is currently like two in the morning. I'm recording this gameplay kind of late in the night. Usually I don't record this late, but uh, I have a pretty important project tomorrow morning at like seven. I have to get up and I wanted to record this gameplay so that I can edit this while I'm not in town. So I will be, well, what are you doing? I should green that, but I'm gonna make it. I'll green that in. I wanted to take it to the rim, but instead I took a mid range and it went in. Though. You know, it's just that uh, two in the morning kind of kind of gameplay on this one, huh? I mean, I know why I'm playing bad. I don't know why JMO3 is playing bad, but it looks like he's about to get up out of here. And Jonathan Isaac is just too good, apparently. Okay, guys, so you saw what Jonathan Isaac gets into in some freestyle and triple dirt online gameplay. The card for his size, for his price, is one of the best small forwards in the game. I mean... Badge wise, stats wise, you'd be hard to find people better. Um, there obviously are cards that are probably better that can compete with them. The Jonathan, uh, not the Jonathan Isaacs, the Thon Makers of the world, and other small forwards like that. Maybe Giannis, shooting guard small forward Giannis. But this card is really valid. Only other two cards for their price that could compare would probably be the Scotty Pippen, the Ben Wallace card right here, the Jeremy Grant, that was free. 
that James Worthy card that's kind of poop though. I mean, this Jonathan Isaac card goes crazy. If you don't believe me, pick him up for yourself and give him a try. It's been your boy Brian. Until next time, peace.